Moving through the Rockies and taking aim at the Midwest this evening, heavy rain and snow. We encountered a massive thunderstorm, so you couldn't even see five feet in front of you. Both Salt Lake City and Denver airports de-icing departing flights. Denver leading the country with nearly 600 flight delays. Heavy fog in Tampa this morning. And while many airports started with long TSA lines, but few disruptions on the FlightAware misery map, that changed as the weather moved in. Get here early. There are lines. Please get here early. At Newark Airport, a critical hub for United, 95-minute departure delays amid the ongoing shortage of air traffic controllers. 300 plus delays at Newark. United says 28,000 of its passengers are impacted every day. Runway 28 right at Charlie, clear for takeoff. While the FAA is training new controllers at its academy in Oklahoma City, trying to keep up with attrition and retirements. How long will it take you to get to full staffing? Our goal is, is five to seven years to be fully staffed and comfortable. In the meantime, the rush is on today. I wanted to see if I could take 740 off the gate instead. NBC's Adrian Broaddus at the American Airlines Ops Center at Chicago O'Hare. American Airlines expects nearly 31,000 passengers to pass through O'Hare alone today. And this is where they monitor every single flight, trying to mitigate delays and cancellations. Meanwhile, a yearly ritual on the nation's roads. A record 71 million Americans hoping to beat the weather and slide into a Thanksgiving dinner. Trying to get out early because we're actually, we came from Georgia for Atlanta, so we left about, probably about one this morning. And Tom, the nature of the Thanksgiving holiday, the biggest test may actually come this Sunday when everybody wants to go home. No, that's right. Everybody, right? Kids back in school on Monday, kidding back to work. So we're talking 3 million plus going through TSA checkpoints on Sunday. Worst times to drive, 12 to 6 p.m. on Sunday, Monday, 9 a.m. To, to, to 6 p.m. Lester. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.